and welcome to Just Bring It South Africa with your host Biggles. Today we are looking at the 1973 Porsche 911 Carrera RS. Just a quick disclaimer. Unfortunately, I'm still experiencing lag with Forza Horizon 4. I have improved it a little bit, but due to the lag, I will be having some accidents. That said, I will hit the brakes as soon as I realize that there is some lag. Hopefully that will minimize the accident. So for today's video, this is a continuation of yesterday's video with the Need for Speed 2000 Porsche Unleashed. It is supposed to be a comparison between the old game and the new generation game. Right off the bat, I can feel extreme similarity in terms of physics, however, Forza Horizon 4 is definitely more refined. Also take into consideration that the modifications to this particular car are far more extensive and more modern than what we see in the Porsche Unlimited game. I love doing the 180. Just for reference, also this needs to be taken into consideration, I think. With the Porsche Unlimited game, I was able to use my joystick. Whereas with this game, unfortunately, I am limited to an Xbox controller, which means that my steering isn't nearly as controlled and smooth as with the joystick. I do however find in this game it seems to be easier to drift, but this could be because I am more used to the Xbox controller than I am for the joystick. General, it's actually really nice to drive this car. I've got to learn how to drift this car. I don't think I did too badly though. Of 
close up to my old car. Yeah, this car is quick. And of course, very bad lag here. I actually had thought that the game had crashed, but fortunately it didn't. The irony is what I've found that the lag seems to happen at the absolute worst time. In a way it is funny. I'm not gonna let it upset me. <laughs> However, when you are doing a professional video for people, for lots and lots of people, it is kind of annoying. Just smile and nod. You gotta have a sense of humor for this. You see, you see, you see, you see! Of course the actual animation in this game is a lot more refined and a lot more advanced. I personally do prefer having a cockpit view. Porsche Unlimited does have a cockpit view but I find that the low resolution it looks absolutely terrible and it looks good. Back in the day, that wasn't a problem because monitors weren't that big and didn't have very high resolution in the first place. So you actually didn't really notice. It literally looked better back in the day. But with today's monitors being much higher resolution, yeah, it just doesn't compare to modern day games. Basically what I'm saying, it's not compatible with today's technology. So we're coming up to the end of the test drive. And then I think I'm going to just let you guys see a outside view of the car and look at the actual specifications we will see it now now in the top left corner 716 kilowatts 855 torque and it is all wheel drive yesterday's car was rear wheel drive i think that's why this car was slightly more stable It's actually quite amazing the difference that makes. In Porsche Niche, this is definitely one of my more favorite cars to drive. I think mostly because I was used to rear wheel drive having driven and bike racing 
think I'm used to the dodge bikers. So yes, I was used to rear wheel drive cars. In terms of look, I really do like this car quite a lot. Anyway, that's what we'll do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on notifications and share. You are appreciated and noticed. See you next time.